Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Angular 13 in Visual Studio 2022 in six easy steps. So before we get started, you need to have a couple of softwares or tools you can say. First is Visual Studio 2022 Community Edition, which is free and Node.js uh, latest version 16 as of now. And that is also free. You can download those things from these two links. So once you are uh, done with these softwares, now you are all set to get started. And I have simplified it in six easy steps. Step one, you need to start your Visual Studio 2022 in admin mode and create ASP.NET Core empty project. So let's get started with the first step. So you have Visual Studio 2022. I'll just right click and go for more and I'll say run as administrator. So I'm starting Visual Studio in admin mode. And here I'm going to create a new project. And it will be ASP.NET Core empty project. Next. And say this is the location and my project name, let it be as Angular 13 UI. And I'll say next. And I don't want HTTPS and I'm targeting .NET 6. Say create. So we are done with step one. Step two. Open terminal from project and go for developer command prompt. Now here you have an option. Here this is your project. I'll just right click on the project folder. Not on solution. I'll right click on project folder. And I'll just look for open in terminal. So I'll select this option. Now you should see developer command prompt. Here you have two options. If I click on this drop down, you have two options. That is developer PowerShell, developer command prompt. Sometime PowerShell is by default selected. So you need to change it to command prompt. So best thing is click on setting. Select developer command prompt and say set as default. Say OK. So we are in Angular 13 UI solution and Angular 13 UI project folder. So we are done with step two. Next step three, I need to install Angular. I'm installing Angular globally. If you install Angular once, it is enough for any project on the system. So I'm going to install. Copy, just you right click, it will get pasted. NPM install Angular CLI global. It will take little time to get installed. So we are all done with the Angular installation. If you want to check whether Angular got installed or not, you can simply say ng space hyphen hyphen version so it will give you the details about angular node.js and everything angular cli we have installed successfully so we are done with step three now step four i'm going to create angular app now ng new app name i'll give same name as my project name for the app that is angular 13 ui and I want this app to be created in the current directory. So that's why I have a dot. So in the current directory, so I'll run this command. This will also take little time for installation of all the packages required. Now it is asking, do you want routing? I don't want any routing. I want to do everything manually and style CSS. I want, yes, you can see that first option is CSS. I'll press enter. Now it should install all the packages and you can see the folders that you have on the right side that got added folders and files so we are on the command prompt that means we got our initial angular app set up successfully now it is the time for us to build the app so i use ng build and we know very well that in your asp.net core everything that you want to share with the world will go to the folder www root that means I'm just saying after building this, you generate the output in www root folder. So it will create the folder and you see all the, uh, you can say final result files will be in that folder. So you can see www root folder and all the files and we have built successfully. Now the final step, I need to run the app. So I'll say ngserve-o. 
just right click and that will get pasted so host the app and the server will listen for the request and we are opening the app so we are doing both the things so just i'll say enter now you see that it it has started listening on the port 4200 and you see local host 4200 your angular 13 ui app is running so we are all set now you can just do some changes if you want in app app dot component dot html and here you can just change from welcome and you can just type in mtt save this and you should see the changes reflected so that's it so it is so simple to set up your angular 13 on visual studio 2022 thank you very much